Understanding Formal and Informal Vocabulary, A Guide to English Language Mastery. Hello there, English language learners. Today, we're going to delve deep into a crucial aspect of the English language, the differences between formal and informal vocabulary. This knowledge will help you to understand and decide when to use certain words and phrases in a formal or informal context, improving your overall language skills. Formal vocabulary is used in more serious contexts or where there is a level of expected decorum, such as business meetings, academic writings, official documents, or speeches. These words often have Latin or Greek origins and are characterized by their precision and sophistication. On the other hand, informal vocabulary is used in casual, everyday conversations or texts. These words are usually simpler, shorter, and may include slang, idioms, colloquialisms, and contractions. They're words you would typically use with friends, family, or in casual social interactions. Let's look at some examples. For instance, the word purchase is considered more formal, while buy is its informal counterpart. Similarly, commence is formal for start, request, for, ask, and, approximately, for, about. In an informal context, you might say, I'm gonna go out for a bit, whereas in a formal situation, it's more appropriate to say, I am going to leave for a short period. Remember, word choice can drastically alter the tone and perceived seriousness of a sentence or conversation. Deciding when to use formal or informal vocabulary depends on your audience, the situation, and the medium of communication. Formal vocabulary is expected in academic essays, business letters, speeches, and professional emails, where clarity and precision are valued. Informal vocabulary is suitable for conversations with friends, casual emails, text messages, or any situation where a relaxed, conversational tone is acceptable. Understanding the differences between formal and informal vocabulary is a key step in mastering English communication. With practice, you'll quickly learn to navigate these vocabulary waters with ease. Keep practicing, stay curious, and remember, the journey to language mastery is a marathon, not a sprint. We hope this video was helpful, and we look forward to helping you improve your English skills in the next one. Happy learning!